What's going on dudes? I hope you're all well. Today you watch a decent guitar player fumble around with a bass pedal. Alright, so the Dark Glass Alpha Omega. Um, I recently kinda as a joke just uh asked in Modern Guitarist, one of my favorite Facebook groups, I asked if any of us guitar players are using anything that's not a uh, dark glass model of some kind for our bass tones. And of course, people are using more stuff than that. But at the same time, a vast majority of us are indeed using dark glass of some kind. Um, for me, on this channel, whenever I tend, whenever I do a full mix and you hear bass, it's usually a dark glass model of some kind, um, either in the Helix I think the XFX, usually, most often in the Helix, but also recently I've got one that I use in the Kemper. Um, but that's it. Recently I was like, well, I'm still working on getting this EP out that is coming along very quickly, by the way. That will, I'll probably have some music to share, share with y'all in the next couple of months. But anyway, I decided let's get a real dark piece of dark glass equipment um, on the um, EP. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So uh, today you're going to hear my bass, what's going to be my bass setup on the album, well, the EP. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing this traditionally, probably not doing this correctly, you know, but at the same time, this is how I use it, and I think it sounds great. Um, so we're going to be going through my Mission KM212P here. Like I said, this cab is originally designed for modelers, and part of their, they're not very specific about how they talk about it, but they do say that it uh, is meant to handle, like, extended frequency range. It's not a full range flat response speaker, it's a regular guitar cab but the speakers inside it are supposedly meant to handle a wider range of frequencies so it's kind of more hi-fi sounding or whatnot and I find it sounds great for bass so today I'm not going to give too many like you know opinions or in fact that uh, hey I think this thing is great but I say this is the first dedicated piece of bass gear that I own so I'm not I don't feel like I could talk from a position of authority about it or anything or a really uh, well terribly well informed um, opinion all I can say is that it sounds great I can show you that so yeah let's get into that 